Hello. Yes. We are live and raw. I'm in my rollers. <laughs> we're gonna we just we're we're here because we're um ex expanding our um what do we want to call it? We are yes, live and raw. We're going we're going live right now. And yes, I'm in rollers, but you know what? I get so tired of the boring everyday all kind of regular <laughs> so um we appreciate you all hooking on and watching us and and we are uh here to bring excitement to bring fun to bring uh joy to um <laughs> To just to just have fun um, sharing the value of being in covenant relationship with each other, and as a married couple, as um, family, so we just really appreciate you all clicking on and enjoying your time with us and asking us questions or all that kind of stuff. But yes, I have rollers in my hair and. <laughs> He's being good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are again, trying to bring some wisdom to those of you who are married and choose to be married. And I think we're going to talk about covenant relationship today because marriage is a covenant and we're going to be coming from a, just some statistical. Let me give you some statistics real quick here. It says, uh, My hair roller fell out. <laughs> let me give you some statistics here real quick. Okay. Um, 42% of first marriages across the board, 42% end in divorce. And of second marriages, I, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't guess how many second marriages, second marriages, 60% of them end up in, in divorce. And third marriages, 73% of them end up in divorce. So it's obvious that the more times you get married, the less chance it is of you staying together. But I just want to talk about covenant a little bit. Most people think marriage is just between you and that other person. And you know, we're talking about biblical marriages here because I'm going to try to go from a biblical perspective. And that's what we're, we're talking about today. <laughs> okay, so biblical marriages or uh, covenant. So that means that a covenant is not just between you and the person. Really, even regular marriages, secular marriages, whatever you want to call them, is not just between you and that person. It's between you and the government because you got to have government paperwork to get married. And they have to sanction and approve it and a lot of times you got to get blood tests and this test and that test and mental tests. And, and then you have to get all these other kind of tests to make sure that the tests you took are actual tests. So when you get married in Christ, I think that there's got to be understanding. You're not just getting married to that person, but you're making a covenant. You're making a covenant agreement, not just with that person, but you're making a covenant agreement with God. And even if secular marriage, you get married in, just say you go down to the courthouse and get married. They're gonna have we you do that before. And you have to get paperwork. You have to sign stuff. So they give you papers to sign and all this stuff, and they ask you about this and that, and you do that. So again, you have to realize there's a covenant. So uh it's not a, a Cinderella, it's not a a uh mm -hmm. 
even though we want to be like Cinderella, we want everything to go perfect and just to be swept away, have a beautiful home with white picket fence. It's not like that. It's 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 good times. It's raw and real. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all just don't get it. <laughs> anyway, so so you have to understand that. I can't stand the boring stuff. We have to do something exciting. It's going to be good times. It's going to be bad times. It's going to be times you don't like and times you do like. But the bottom line is if you make an agreement, if you make a covenant with someone, you need to stay in it because that's what you said you do. So even uh, if you, even if you have, even if you don't even know what to say in your time together, you still have to stick together. So as I was saying, as I was saying, that there's going to be times when there's good times and bad times, but don't don't think that you should get divorced because of, now I understand that there are sometimes abusive situations and things of that nature where where you should not stay with that person. For real. But again, you, you got to get to a place of of uh, really understanding. You can't get married just because somebody look good. It's, it's more than that. Because just like BB King said. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away. Is it gone? So sometimes you... <laughs> it's my hair falling out again. Yes, dear, my hair is falling out. I mean, not, my hair is not falling out, but my rollers are falling out. Sorry, you all, but <laughs> I didn't get a chance to dry my hair. Where is the other clip? I gotta go get one. Okay, um, let me let me say some good stuff right now. See, that's the kind of stuff you gotta deal with, man. You gotta deal with all that stuff with the hair rollers. You gotta deal with that kind of. <clears throat> so, as you understand, as a husband and wife, it's a covenant. So there's gonna be some good things. There's gonna be some things that. Uh, are really, really fun. And there's going to be some times when it's like, man, you know, what did I do? Did I make the right choice? All those kind of things. So when those things go through your head, you just got to go back to what you said you would do. You you would honor, love your wife. Now, the, the other thing that's real interesting is that you got to have, you got to understand, I would suggest anybody who wants to get married to go through some type of counseling. Because go back to what you said you would do. Sorry. You you would honor and love your wife. <laughs> and that's the other thing that's right. Okay, here we go. So what you have to do is you gotta make sure that you are aware of some of the good things about your spouse and you're able to understand some of the negative things about your spouse because there's only been one perfect person and it for sure ain't me and it for sure ain't her. So you gotta realize there's gonna be times when people are gonna come and they're gonna be um, good and then there's some things they're not gonna do so well. But we don't wanna box a person in when they get married. Some people are good with finance and some people not. Some people are good with housekeeping, some people are not. Some people are good at cooking and some people are not. So you can't just put a blanket on all the women have to do the cooking and the men have to take care of the money and all that kind of stuff. So you can't do that. See, I used to put my hair in rollers, but I don't have any, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I used to set his hair on rollers back in the day. So I don't have to worry about that stuff when he no was more. When he was fly, I guess. Okay, you can you can share with them your no no. I, I want you to share when we were when 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 your your toughest times of dealing with me when you have to tell me a hundred a hundred something over. Like about times. thirty seconds ago. <laughs> that was funny, but I know that was funny. I know that was funny. But anyway, but he, let me, let me anyway. think. No, you well, like first. like 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 he he was he taught me even how to cook. So for. 20 years, our first 20 years together, I, I did, I couldn't cook. It took 20 years for me to have breakfast all together hot at the same time. I mean, the you know, the eggs, the toast, the bacon, or the sausage, even the coffee. Yeah, so it was excruciating. But I made it, it was excruciating for the first 20 years. I was, I was like, all messed up from the first 20 years. So 
every morning I would dread getting up and down. Do you think that answer. has to do with your hair loss? Uh, it might have something to do with it, but all I'm just saying is that <laughs> so so what we have to do is understand that there are things that each of you have that are really good things, and then there's things that each of you have that are not so good things. You have to be able to deal with those things. Like dirty socks and stuff. Oh. <laughs> That's all about socks. Like patience. He's so patient with me though. So I, I just think it's when you're in when you know that you're in a covenant relationship, you can trust that it's gonna be good and that that God's going to give them the patience and everything that they need to deal with you and your shortcomings. See, patience is uh, more than just a, a breakfast not getting made. It's a lot of stuff. So you got to be patient and, and understand uh, your spouse's personality and stuff they do and why they do what they do. But again, that's a good point. Talk about personalities. Though. Okay, go ahead. Talk Cause, about Because my personality, I, I like to have fun and talk and stuff like that and his personality is everything needs to be nice neat and in order but my extreme in my personality is go ahead you talk no you tell him no, no, you tell him you tell him See, see, the deal is, is most of the time when you get in a relationship, a marriage relationship with somebody, it's usually opposite of what you are. Because if you just take what you are to the extreme, you just get way out in that field. So you need somebody to pull you back in from time to time. So, you know, things are things are interesting. And we've been together for a long time. We've got a really interesting story to tell concerning our relationship. And uh, maybe one day we'll write a book about it. And, you know, sell me in copies or something, but we 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 could, we could do a um like a retreat. People can we we can pray over people and minister to people. We have a like a retreat. Yeah, we could do that. You know, we could do that. So so again, but what you gotta you gotta get in your heads is that there's gonna be some good times. There's gonna be some bad times. But you gotta realize you gotta see through those things because you you have a lot at stake. Like right now, there's a lot at stake. We've been together for like what. 80 Forever. years, 90, something like that. <laughs> and uh, So you got all this gray because of the years we've been together. So I lost the hair because oh. we've been together. That's why my hair is just it evaporated. In the <laughs> no, no, from the, we, from not, my cooking. We, we not, we not from buzzed. My we not buzzed. We just, this is just us on a normal day. So it's really, really uh, exciting <laughs> to know. And if you do, if any of you do have some issues in your marriage and you want to just like, okay, um, I want to ask some specific questions. You know, our Facebook page is log on to the Facebook page and ask us. But the reality of it is, is that you got to be real. I mean, you, you can't be unreal. You know, when you look at the, this is not Cinderella. This is raw. This it's is not, us live and I mean, this, is, this is how life is. I mean, things are just that way sometimes. You're going to wake up and see stuff and, you know, hair rollers and all of you guys with that thick hair, you're going to lose it and, you know, all of the muscles are going to go into flab and all that. <laughs> Where there used to be a booty, now ain't and no booty. They're going to be gone. So all this stuff going to happen. So all this stuff. You know, Anywho. Okay, well, no, no, again, we, we just wanted to thank y'all for tuning in. No, because, no, no. Stay, we can talk for a little longer. Okay, go ahead. What you want to talk about? No, but I think it's important for us to know that when we're in covenant, and we say that we're going to uh, love one another and we uh, sign that little paper or take a vow, take a vow. We make our vows. It is, uh, it should be always from the heart. And we should always think of the end in mind and that's to glorify God. And I think that our relationship through the years has been tough, but I believe that we have, um, we're, we're pursuing to give God the glory through, trials and tribulations, tests, and all those kind of things that we've had to go through. But love endures, love perseveres, love uh, is. See, 
I, I have a test that you can do as a husband. You know, it's called the toenail test. The toenail test. <laughs> if my hair is falling out. See, so you could. I could deal with the hair falling out, but if, if your wife cut your toenails and and all that kind of stuff, then 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 that. I that's have good. kept made them bleed a couple times. I'm sorry. Anyway, so if you can pass a toenail test. Uh, through blood and, and through uh, going to the emergency room because your your toes are cut all up and stuff. If you can pass the toenail test, then I guess it'll last forever. So, so, so we we really, 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 truly appreciate you all watching, and we want to be able to give value to you, your relationship, knowing that. Don't never give up. It's like really believe that, you know, God has brought you together and you know that you love one another through the beginning when you first met. You got to go through all kinds of stuff. Know that that he's going to strengthen you and you got to keep him in the, at the center and just not to give up and to make it fun. Right. I think it's important for you to make your relationship and your time together fun. So doing different things around the house or changing stuff up. Like some people like change furniture around all the time. <laughs> but I like me, I like, he likes everything kind of consistent. But for me, I kind of like the piles or the files or my files and piles or uh, my, my stuff. But anyway, I, I just want to just say that it's important to endure through the test of time. And I always said when we first met uh, in 1974, I would always sign up my little notes to him forever, that I would love him forever in a day. And I believe that, that when I say that forever in a day, no matter what we go through, even though I might be get upset with him or think that he's really upset with me and all that kind of stuff, I still believe that with God, all things are possible, and forever and a day, I will love you. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, uh, and just make sure that you tell your friends, we're going to post it on different places, but every Monday night, we're going to come and, and have a little talk, and we talked about covenant today, if you want more information about covenant, and biblical references to covenant, just you know, get on my wife's page, ask some questions, send a but, message, that kind of thing. But we're going to make it fun. I don't like the boring. I like it to be fun. And I really do want it for it to be a blessing to you. So we're having fun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming on. We're going to be here every Monday night for about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to ask you to send us questions during the week. And we will definitely answer those questions. We had a question about covenant. We talked about covenant. If you want more information or if you need any specific uh, counseling concerning what's going on in your life, don't hesitate to give us a call. we got a lot of years in ministry, a lot of years together. So we're kind of proficient at it. But make sure you love your wife and make sure husbands love your wife and make sure wives love your husbands so that you stay and live a long time together. And, and stay, protected, stay protected. Husbands protect us. That's what we should be doing. Keep us from harm. Keep us from the, the, the deceiver. That's right. All right, you all. <laughs> Have a good night. Next time I'm going to go sit on the dryer. See y'all later. Blessings. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>